You're watching Carolina and Company on the road in Conway. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Horry County. With your host, Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in Conway, it's on right here. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live, our first show for Conway on the Road, and we're right here at Backwoods Nursery out on Main Street in Conway. We're talking about thousands and thousands of plants here. We're going to find out a little bit about this place and a lot of other businesses right here in Conway. This is what it's all about, a brand new show for Conway on the Road in Conway. We're going to do it every first and third Thursday. So if you're in the Conway area and you're a member of the Chamber, you need to contact the Chamber to find out how you can be a part of this show. It's all about Conway today. We'll be right back. Stay with us. And welcome back to Carolina and Company on the road in Conway, our first show. And it's a big one, too. We're right here at Backwoods Nursery. And let me tell you, we've got Amy with us, we've got Reagan with us, and we've got Brian. And this is, uh, now, Amy, we got to find, this place has got thousands and thousands of plants. Everything from roses to oriental stuff, all kinds of stuff. Tell me what all you got here. We have knockout roses that we grow from bare root. We have Japanese maples, all sorts of tropicals, hibiscus, hindo palms, different kinds of palms. We have a wide array of bedding plants, and we have an indoor store that has lots of novelty items, flags, indoor plants. So you got a gift shop there you can go in and mm -hmm. check all that out. Yeah. All right, we got to go over here, and uh, and and let's see. All right, now Brian, I want to ask Brian a question. All right, now. Y'all bought this three years ago, but you've been in the landscaping business, what, 18 years? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, now tell me why you bought this three years ago. We thought it'd be a good fit, uh, come available. Uh, Reagan is uh, my special needs <laughs> child. Right. And she's uh, got a chromosome <laughs> disorder. So we wanted, uh, we thought it'd be a good fit for the existing business. And um, help her work in the, she can help you work out here and all. Exactly right. Looking and do all of that. All the kids to come and do and have a good time working. Now that's amazing. All right, I know y'all had some problems back here. Was it October, the big flood? Yes, October. Now what happened? This whole place was flooded, I understand. We had a very quick rain and it got about two feet deep rushing through here. Wow. All of the infrastructure, the rocks came up, um, lots of the plants were destroyed, but I tell you, it really touched us. The whole community came out and helped us load plants for two days and put them back. Um, all of our staff came together. It was awesome. That is amazing. Now what's the name of this little creek over here? Crab tree swamp. Crab tree swamp. It got a little out of the banks, yeah, didn't it? It's vicious when it rains. Well, that's what's amazing in the community. They came out and helped here at Backwoods Nursery. They did. They and they did. really, really came through for you guys. They did. It meant the world to us. All right, now we got to talk about a lot of things. I see a lot of neat flowers out here, and you got a lot of unusual stuff. Mm -hmm. You got palms, you've got a little bit of everything. Yeah, we sure do. And we've got, um, our, I would say, one of our best things is our knockout roses, and they're right here. Yeah. If you want to take a look at them, but we grow those from bare root. They are gorgeous, they're easy to grow. Um, our bedding plants are, we have everything from normal petunias to geraniums, pretty much anything you could ask for. We've got a wide selection of shrubs. So you can come out here and land find it all day. yep do it on your own or you can get us to do it well let me tell you i looked at the pine straw a minute ago mm -hmm. and that's some great looking pine straw and the bales are bigger now what's the price on the pine straw they are 475 a bale is that it's, long pine it's long needle Woo! and they're large bales and it's good straw good that straw. is that's very good all right now when you're coming out here, who has the green thumb? You're talking about growing these roses. Now, who has the green thumb? I got to give it to our whole staff. Everybody is awesome, but Mary Long has been wonderful for us. She's our acting manager. When we first started, Thomas, that used to have Crabtree, yeah. and Miss Pat Rose, they came in and really helped us get started, helped us get off the ground, and helped us know where we needed to go with things, but Mary has been instrumental. We also have Glenn Kanawha, and he is our um, estimating director for Backwoods Landscaping. He has a lot of nursery experience, uh, so he's been a big help. All right, now if you need landscaping too, now you just don't need to come buy flowers. They can come, you call them, y'all can do all kinds of landscaping stuff. We do, we do commercial and residential design installation. We do irrigation, we do landscape lighting. We also have a whole fleet that does commercial and residential maintenance. And wow. We take care of pretty much anything you need. All right, who does? You make Brian do most of the work? Brian does all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got more coming up. We're right here in Conway. On the road with Conway, our first show at Backwoods Nursery out on Main Street. Come out here and see us.
We'll be right back. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road in Conway. We're back on the road in Conway. Every first and third Thursday, we'll be here live. And if you're a chamber member, you'd need to check with the chamber and find out how you can be a part of this show. All right, now we got over, let's see, right next door, Conway Feed and Garden. And uh, Floyd's with me now. Y'all are right next door, or out, out here on Main Street next to the uh, nursery. That is correct. Uh, 2200 North Main Street is our address. All right, now let's talk a little bit about what all your business offers. Well, we have a, a, a good concept. We have a bird feed bird supplies and pet feed and pet supplies uh, lawn and garden supplies and the fertilizers that go with that uh, not to mention our clothing line consists of uh, Carhartt, Browning, Rocky, Georgia Boot and uh, also uh, you our, know the, the clothes I can't believe y'all carry clothes I didn't know that yeah well we carry clothes for you know the blue collar work yeah, uh -huh. yeah you know they're the heavy duty the work clothes and Carhartt has that brand all right, now I got to ask you this. What if I've got about 20 acres and I need to fertilize or spread? How do y'all do all that too? No, we don't offer the You don't offer the spreading service, no, okay. We, uh, no, uh, the agriculture companies do that. They do all of that. That's all right, right, now how long you been in the business? Uh, my dad opened up in 1973. In 73? That's correct. And he gave you a job? That's right, me and my brothers. <laughs> you and your brothers? Yeah, me and my brothers. So y'all have been here for a long time. You're established, you know. And, That's correct. And, We're a family owned business. That's the amazing thing about it. And we, you know, we work to uh, uh, work with the, for the needs of the Conway community and see if we can be of service to them. That's a little different than what you see at the big box stores. Yeah, I like family, I like family operated stores because you know the people live in the community and they do a lot. Now y'all get involved in a lot of community stuff too. Y'all do a lot of different things for the community. Well, you know, fundraisers and stuff yeah. like that. You know, that usually about every week there seems like there's a fundraiser that comes <laughs> by. Somebody wanting us to buy tickets for uh, whatever donate event. a prize or something that's right door prizes and whatever all so right. that, that happens about weekly weekly all right I gotta ask you right now all right all this stuff over here you got to have something going you got a big sale or anything right now well on April 23rd we'll have a Coggins clinic and we'll have it's sponsored by DHEC but uh, yeah the veterinarian uh, at Myrtle Beach equine they'll be uh, here and they'll be uh, doing Coggins tests for horses and the vaccines for pets and rabies clinic that's oh, what it is. that's pretty good though. And it's good that y'all do stuff like that because people can come right here and do it. All right, now what is your, if looking at this, you know, being a feed and garden area, what is your biggest seller? If you had to pick out fertilizer, or what do you sell your most of? Well, probably pet supplies. Pet supplies? Yeah, pet supplies. That would be our biggest seller. All right, you got a stuff like dogs and cats or anything or what? That's right, dog and cat treats, you know, your Prina brand dog feeds, um, uh, the holistic line. Uh, which includes uh, Taste of the Wild, um, Infinity, and those things like that. All right, now I got to ask you this: Did you, when you came to work as a family business, did you have to go off to do any training, or you did OJT? OJT only. That is the best way to learn, isn't it? That's right. When school I got into when I got into broadcasting school, somebody I went to broadcasting school, and then later I figured out I could do it on OJT. <laughs> when I got out, they said, "Do you have any experience yet?" They always asked me that, and I didn't until I got into business. So you're open when now? What's your hours? Our hours are from uh, Monday through Friday, right? Seven thirty to six, uh -huh. and on Saturday from seven thirty to four. Seven thirty to four. So you open six days a week and closed on Sunday. Closed on Sunday. All right. Well, we appreciate all that too. I tell you, we thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Cecil. All right, we got a lot more coming up. This is our first show on the road in Conway, and you're part of our first show. We're gonna have a lot more of them here. Thanks for being here with me. Thank you very much. You got it. All right, we got a lot more coming up on the road in Conway. We're right out here on Main Street, and we're located at the Backwoods Nursery. Come by and see us. I got a flower for you. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road in Conway. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live on the road right here in Conway at Backwoods Nursery. They're our host for today's show, our first one, and there'll be a lot more of them coming up. Now, we've got a young lady with us now from Nye Pharmacies. Now, if you ever pass through heading to the beach on 501, right there at 10th Avenue, there's an old drugstore, and I'm talking about over 50 years it's been there. Now, you know, tell me a little bit about Nye Pharmacy. Um, it's been in business well over 60 years. They wow. had several locations in Conway, Myrtle Beach, um, and Marion, uh, but the only location remaining is in Conway. That's the big one. That's the big one, and um, it's it hasn't changed a bit. 
You got the big soda fountain and everything still in there? We still have the soda fountain. Um, we have the uh, a novelty section, a gift shop. We offer over-the-counter items, vitamins, and of course the pharmacy. All right, I've got to tell you something. I did a story about 18 or 20 years ago, and I saw this lady come in and she told him, would you put that on my account? She didn't have a charge card. She had put it on my account. Y'all still do that for customers? Yes, sir. We sure do. That's amazing. I yes, mean, there's sir. very little stores that you'll find that will do that. I think we're about the only remaining pharmacy in this area that will do it. Well, you've got customers that's been a uh, customer for you for how long now, roughly? 50 um, years or more? At least. We have, um, you know, family generations just they continue to come. All right, now uh, you can also have, they can make, they do a lot of their own drug making. I didn't mean, you know, not drug, but you yeah. know, mixing up the mm -hmm. uh, chemicals do, and everything. Yes, sir, we do compounding, and that's when something that's not commercially available, we're able to take um, the, the powder or the yeah. drug and, and make it into a, a formula or um, some kind of medication for, for you to consume. Take some genetic items and make it into a thing yeah. that you can't find. Yes, sir. Now, you know, very, you know, very few pharmacists still do that. Yes, sir. We're, um, there's only a couple in the area, and um, we are the only one in Conway. All right, looking at Nye Pharmacies over how many years? Um, over 50, 60 years we've been in Wow, practice. that is amazing. You yes, haven't been sir. there that long, though. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, just 20. Just 20. Okay. All right. Now, if the, your favorite part about Nye Pharmacists, you're telling somebody that passes by on the way to the beach and they look to the left and see it, what is your favorite part about when they walk in? It's just nostalgic. You, um, Most people who come in there, we know you by name. Um, we, It's just friendly. It's a warm, inviting um, atmosphere. And the soda fountain is awesome. We have daily lunch specials. Um, and you can come get a homemade cherry coke, homemade lemonade, milkshake. Um, we have awesome cheeseburgers and shop a little bit. So you come in and take and check it out, the nostalgic look, and you get to go sit at the old soda fountain. That's the most that's the neatest place in the yes, world. And I love it's been got 18 years since I've got a milkshake from there at least. I'm coming back. I I'm think coming you back. Need to. I need to come back and get one. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it's on me. Oh, that sounds good. All right. Now, tell them exactly where Nye Pharmacy is located. Uh, Nye's Pharmacy is located on uh, 1600 10th Avenue and Highway 501. All right. And the neatest place in the world, when you walk in, if you're a customer and you say, put it on my account, they put it on your account. They don't have a charge card. These older people that have been doing this for so long, and it really makes a friendly pharmacist, I think. It does. It, the, it makes for a wonderful environment. And when we, we know our customers and um, know them by name, and it's a wonderful place to work and, and do business at. Friendly atmosphere, that's what makes it all. Night yep. pharmacies, you gotta check it out. When you're riding through Conway, heading to the beach, everybody look to your left, Night pharmacists, right there, go inside, have a milkshake, have lunch, and uh, just check it out. It's a neat little place. Thanks for being on the show with Thank me. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, we got a lot more coming up on the road right here in Conway at Backwoods Nursery out on Main Street. I'm still waiting for you to come by. I got some flowers for you. Come on by, we'll be right back. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road in Conway. And welcome back to Carolina and Company live on the road in Conway. First and third Thursdays. We'll be around the Conway area talking to all these people. Now we're going to talk about something. Now we're going to talk with Lee about the coffee news. Now this is the number one restaurant publication and y'all been doing this for about how long now? Nine months. We started back in September but we actually acquired the franchise in July of last year right, for the now, whole Myrtle Beach area. How about the uh, the dumb, not your, not your husband. No, I'm talking about this. <laughs> this Tell is, me about that. That's this is Coffee Bill and he is hidden each week in one of our advertisements and our readers can go to the advertisement and look for him and when they find him they go to our website coffee news beach sc and they register on our web website for a monthly prize that's pretty good mm -hmm. now, right, now where can you find coffee news coffee news is in restaurants around the conway area you can also see a complete list on our website and uh, they're in hair and nail salons we're in doctor's offices we're in um uh, several locations around uh, town so there's about 70 locations so it's easily accessible all right now you can put anything uh, people that want to advertise on this how do they do that well they reach out and get in touch with me my numbers on the top of the paper and the advertisements are exclusive by business category or profession so we're always seeking one of every business category oh so in other words you're not gonna have five or six car dealers no, in there no you, and that allows them to be number one among our readers and stand out among their competition all right now how did this get to be the number one 
restaurant publication in the country. Well, it was started in 1988 in Canada, yeah. and then it developed over into the United States 23 years ago, and it has been franchised all across the world. It's in 14 countries, and there's over 800 franchises across the world, and it's in several different languages, so it's pretty popular. It's got a you know a following from all over the world. All right, now I just want to where's where's Bill? Let me see. Show him to me. I want to tell oh, everybody. Let's, let's, Bill on there. Do you know where he is? Yeah, let's see. All right, where that's Bill him. Is. Yep, that's there him. There he is. I got him. <laughs> you found him. I now found him. I ain't kidding you. Website. I can do it. This is so neat. Now, what if I wanted to call you up and advertise in this? You know, how, how do you work that? What kind of money are we talking? Well, we sell advertisements in a three month agreement for $35 a week. So it's very affordable for small to medium sized businesses. And we also have a six month and a one year package. All right, now these will be, you can find these at a lot of stores. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and the coffee news, the name came because you read this while you're having coffee? Well, it was started in Canada yeah. in a coffee shop. The lady really? came up with the idea in a coffee shop. And she had an advertising and a marketing background. All right, now will you see Bill everywhere when you go? Will he be around most of the places? No, we take him around. You we like to around, take him out. You? He loves to get out. He's so happy. You can see he's happy to be out in the beautiful sunshine today. Well, that's cool. Let me look at this a minute. I want to see some of the things they've got in here. You got a little bit. Tell me a few of the things you've got in there. Just mention them. Well, the content is geared yeah. around unusual stories. There's yeah. um, content around uh, trivia questions so oh, that you can good. test your knowledge. We also have area what's happening, and that's um, helpful for you to know what events are going on in the area, what festivals and what uh, type of organizations are doing fundraisers. So we rely on submissions from the public for that. They can email me their um, event and details, and I can get that in our paper as long as they get it to me in about a couple weeks in advance. All right, I'm looking down here. Anderson Oaks, oh, that's where my mother-in-law is right there. And you've got car dealer, you got telephones. Mm -hmm. So it's open to everybody. But what is so neat about this, you only put like one car dealer at a time. You make it exclusive for it, them. Exactly. It's exclusive by category. Uh, the only category that we do not, you will not see in here is restaurants. And we do that because restaurants are our distribution. And so we do not put one restaurant in there for that reason. Well, that's pretty good. All right. Tell them again where you can find this. You can go to Coffee News Beach SC. You can go to our website and you can find us on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. All right, that's pretty good. Ike's over there. Ike said he didn't want to talk. Let me go here. How you doing, Ike? You doing, doing all right? Fine. Doing all fine. right, that's good. He said he didn't want to talk, but I knew I was going to make him say something. All right, we got more coming up. We're on the road right here at Backwoods Nursery on Main Street, right here in Conway. Stay with us. We'll be back. Good job, Ike. Thank good you. job. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road in Conway. And welcome back to Carolina and Company live on location right here in Conway. Uh, the uh, Christ Community Church now. We got two guys with us. We got Mark and Ethan with us now. There's a lot going on. First off, tell me a little bit about the church and where you're located and how long y'all been around. Sure. We're, we were actually Conway's first community church, Cecil. We were founded 35 years ago. Uh, still have the same pastor and his wife, Philip and Lynn Miles, well known here in the Conway community. We're located at the uh, intersection of 501 Business and Bypass, just where 544 joins in with the Brown Church in the Triangle there. All right. Now, having services, when are your services and all? You do Wednesdays and Sundays or how do you do it? We do Sundays. Uh -huh. uh, and then we have small groups during the week and other events, but uh, the two regular ones are Sundays at 9.30 and 11 every Sunday morning. Uh, identical services, so you can come to whichever one suits you. All right, let me go with Ethan. All right, now, Ethan, now, what, do you, what is the focus, you know, the focus of the church? Uh, the focus is to be an outward focused, uh, just uh, church, just being able to reach out into the community and uh, touch them, yeah, and just uh, let people know about Jesus' love. How long have you been involved with the church? I've been uh, attending for uh, five years now, and I've uh -huh. uh, been working there for three. I'm for sad. three, that's I'm pretty sad. good. All right, sad. all right. now what's coming up? What's your next project y'all got coming up with the church? Well, like Ethan said, we're very outward focused, and one of the things we've got coming up is a, is a big outreach. Uh, we have a lot of students that are involved with quite close to coastal, of course. And yeah. uh, so, I mean, I guess Ethan could probably tell you more about it, but we've got a big outreach coming up just later this month to the All students. right, well, let me go yeah. with Ethan. Tell me about that coming up. Yeah, our, uh, as you know, final exams are getting close, and uh, so that's a stressful time of the year and uh, we just want to be able to take over some final exam survival kits we're going to take over about 2,000 uh, final exam survival kits to the, to the students to, 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 with snacks and things in them just to uh, to let them know that we care and we're also going to be providing a movie to help them like decompress uh, you know from all the stress of studying and everything give them time to step away and uh, just let them know somebody cares about them where were you back in the 60s when I needed a survival <laughs> kit to make yeah. it through the time man that's tough but that is so neat that y'all do that yes sir and yeah. this is this is this is open to whoever you need to do, right? Yeah, all the college students. If anybody uh, wants to, you know, come by while we're going to be out there, it's going to be on April 28th. Uh, we'll be set up on campus, uh, you know, distributing them at, uh, two times during the day. And uh, so, yeah, just drop them by and pick one up, and uh, it'll yeah, be a be a blessing. 
I'm going to yeah. tell you, that is amazing. Huh? And now, this is what gets me. 35 years and the same pastor. That is so amazing. Isn't that wonderful? And uh, we put a big emphasis on leadership. Because of that, because of Philip, and because of the leadership that he's given to the community over the years, uh, the other thing that we've got coming up is the Leadership Summit. It's coming up in August 11th and 12th. We're hosting that again. Uh, it's a simulcast that's uh, great for the business community too. We've got business leaders uh, speaking, uh, and so it's our way of serving and giving back to the community. All right, a person wanting to know more about it, where can they go to your website? They, Tell us what that is. Yeah, they can go to our website. It's ChristCommunityChurchOnline.com. All right, that's pretty good. All right, now how long have you been, uh, you been with the church? I've been with the church for 14 years now. Are you? Yeah. All right, I can tell you, you're a Georgia boy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> where yeah, are you I, from? Where are you from, from originally? I'm from England originally. I knew that. Five I was years just... in Canada before we came down here. Really? But this is home now. All right, now Love if somebody's it. watching, they want to come, they just come to the church, right? Yep, we welcome everybody. We All welcome right. everybody. Thanks, guys. We appreciate yeah. it. All right, on the road in Conway, we're finishing up our first show. I'll be back in a few minutes. we got more coming up. And welcome back on the road right here at Backwoods Nursery. And I tell you, you got a beautiful place. I want to thank you for letting me be a host today. Thank you, Cecil. We have enjoyed it. And thank you all of y'all for coming out and doing it with us. All right. Now, Reagan, you have something you want to say? Thank you for coming. And what else? You want to welcome them? Come back? Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. We've had a great time today. If you'd like to be a part of this, all you got to do is contact the Conway Chamber. And they'll tell you how to do it. And you've got to be a Chamber member to get on. All right. Thanks so much. Tell them bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.